the objective now is to compare the FR Sky high precision vario that we have in here and the new custom electronics variometer. Okay, we're running with uh, Tyrannis with the new firmware, which is 2.0.5. Uh, so if we just turn on the vario sounds now. So those constant tones are what the, uh, the Tyrannis now does between the minimum uh, rate of rise and the minimum sync. There seems to be an occasional beep coming through that probably shouldn't be there. Anyway, let's now uh, lift it up slowly and see what happens. So an occasional sort of bleep, but um, not entirely clear what's going on. Let's go down. Again, not entirely clear. Let's try a bit faster. So an occasional couple of sort of rising beeps, but again, it's not entirely clear what's going on. And a couple of, sort of constant tones there. But again, not not very clear. If we move it small distances, there isn't really any particular relationship of the sound to the movement. Okay, now let's try the uh, cast electronics variant. Yeah, no, no, notice the uh, difference in size between the two units. Okay, let's turn the uh, put the vario on. There we have the constant tones at the neutral position. Let's now uh, lift it up slowly and see what happens. Again, a very clear and immediate sound to the neutral tones, going down, again a very clear indication that it's going down. Move up quickly, and down quickly. Let's move back up to the middle. It is in fact quite sensitive if we just move it up a couple of inches down a couple of inches, you'll see that it's really quite a good response and very, very clear what's going on. Do another test with the uh, FR Sky Vario. Right, turn the sounds on. And constant tone, but an occasional bleep. So some strange data getting through. Let's lift up and down. So this occasional bleep, but the inconsistency of the sounds makes it quite difficult to work out what's going on. movements. It's not really clear what's going on at all. That's certainly less than ideal.